Okay, so here at UCLA, it's finals week. So we know that I'm not the most politically correct person, so don't take this offensively. I don't mean it towards any of my friends. I mean it towards random people that I don't even know in the library. So you guys are not the problem. The problem is these hordes of Asian people that UCLA accepts into our school every single year, which is fine, but if you're going to come to UCLA, then use American manners. So it used to really bug me, but it doesn't bother me anymore, the fact that all the Asian people that live in all the apartments around me, their moms and their brothers and their sisters and their grandmas and their grandpas and their cousins and everybody that they know that they brought along from Asia with them comes here on the weekends to do their laundry, buy their groceries, and cook their food for the week. It's seriously without fail. You will always see old Asian people running around this apartment complex every weekend. That's what they do. They don't teach their kids to fend for themselves. You know what they don't also teach them is their manners, which brings me to my next point. Hi. In America, we do not talk on our cell phones in the library. Where Every five minutes, I will be, okay, not five minutes, say like 15 minutes. I'll be like deep into my studying, into my political science theories and arguments and all that stuff, getting it all down, like typing away furiously, blah, blah, blah. And then all of a sudden, when I'm about to like reach an epiphany, over here from somewhere, oh, ching chong ling long ting tong, oh, are you freaking kidding me? In the middle of finals week. So being the polite, nice American girl that my mama raised me to be, I kind of just gave him what anybody else would do, that kind of like, you know, it's, got, it's a library, like we're trying to study, thanks. And then it's the same thing, five minutes later, but it's somebody else, you know. I swear they're going through their whole families just checking on everybody from the tsunami thing. I mean, I know, okay, that sounds horrible, like I feel bad for all the people affected by the tsunami. But if you're going to go call your address book, like, you might as well go outside because if something is wrong, you might really freak out if you're in the library and everybody's quiet. Like, you seriously should go outside if you're going to do that. So, thanks for listening. That was my rant. I just, even if you're not Asian, you really shouldn't be on your cell phone in the library. But it, I've just never seen that happen before. So, thank you for listening and have a nice day.